Welcome back to the homestead. We are inside of our new addition that will house our solar equipment and our prep kitchen. And today we're gonna to show you a couple of tricks of how to hang drywall on the ceiling by yourself. Let's do it. So if you're by yourself and you're a one-man show, it's always a challenge to hang drywall, especially on the ceiling. So let's show you some easy tricks. It's only gonna take a few pieces of scrap lumber and you can do it by yourself. You will need at least three pieces of two by material. In this case, we've got two by twos and preferably eight feet long. Then you'll also need some scrap half inch material and some scrap two by four material. And if you don't have that, you can see we've got a two by six that my daughter painted and another piece of half inch material, whatever it is. Preferably your scrap two by four will be at least eight inches long and then your half inch material is a square-ish shape, four inches by four, five by five, somewhere in there. We're gonna use a three inch screw, screw through both of them right to the edge. You want both of these flush on one side and I'll show you why. Before we do that, we are gonna put some screws in our two by two material that will go up on the wall. You wanna pre-drill that so it doesn't crack because this stuff is pretty, pretty slim and prone to cracking. So just drill some pilot holes and pre-stage some screws. At least two places, top and bottom, if not three, one in the middle on each piece. Next step is to take one of your two by pieces and we're gonna screw it into the top plate. We are gonna leave three quarters of an inch from the ceiling joist to that piece of two by, and that's so we can slip in our drywall or sheetrock into that gap and there's enough room or enough play that it will slip in nicely. If you have it a half inch, that's way too tight. So three quarters of an inch is perfect. The next step is to take your other two by two and you're gonna screw it to a stud. You're gonna screw it directly beneath that top two by two and here's why. And that's because if we didn't have this here, when we're lifting up our big piece of drywall by ourselves a full eight, eight foot sheet, then we've got to get it over the top of that lip to get it into its position. So where that two by can hold it like that, this provides a guide for you. You can push it up the wall and then just hook it into place. Super simple. Something I forgot to mention earlier with these two by catch pieces right here is that between the two by material and the half inch material, you need a washer because they need to turn past each other. And if you just screw them in together, they're not gonna really move. And that's the key to locking the sheet in. So we have a piece of four foot scrap here. We are gonna stick that in that notch or that holding piece that we just put on the wall. We're gonna come out here and we're gonna mark it on this joist. And for our brace out here, we're gonna bring that back about one inch from that line. And that'll give us the ability to push the sheet up and then lock it into place like that. And let me demonstrate with the scrap piece here how it's gonna sit. This will hold your entire sheet up on the ceiling. So now you have both hands free to screw that sheet up into the ceiling. Let's demonstrate that for you. So we're gonna pre-stage our drywall against the wall. You want the non-finished side facing out toward you. We're also gonna pre-stage our ladder in the center of the sheet. So we're gonna pick up the drywall from the bottom and slide them up the guides. Then we're gonna to continue to walk it up with the ladder until it slides into the slot up at the top. Then we're gonna slide those locking clamps in place or twist them and your sheet is up, hands free. So I have put these sheets up without these locking clamps it makes it a lot easier, but it's not necessary because when you walk it up, if you have your drill pre-staged with some drywall screws, you can drill these in or screw these in. And if your ladder is staged properly in the center, you can reach at least four ceiling joists. And then you can also reach in at least another foot and a half, depending on how long your arms are, and get another screw in there to hold it. And a full eight foot sheet will hold with those four to five, maybe six screws with no problem. 
just make sure before you put those screws in that you slide it back and forth and adjust it so it sits square and flush against the walls. I hope this trick is helpful for you if you are doing things like hanging sheetrock by yourself. And I want to invite you to stick around on the channel with us. This is our solar control room. We're going to be doing an entire solar system start to finish DIY by ourselves. I'm going to show you everything in a series of videos step by step. I know it'll be of great value to you. Now go check out this video right here which shows you how to properly flash a window in new construction. Have a great day and we will see you on the next video. Bye.